Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandomi Makubela, your woman in skincare. If you are new to this channel and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. So today we're speaking about exciting things. A few days ago I went about and I tweeted about my predictions of 2023 or rather beauty trends that I thought would really be on the rise in this new year. And I obviously did some research here and there and the internet gave me tons of things. And I thought, hey, let me rather compile all these things together and give you guys, you know, some of my things that I am interested in. Things that I think are really going to excite people in the skincare industry, but also the beauty industry at large. And things that you guys should look forward to in the year 2023. So without wasting your time, let's get into it. Now, I'm going to start with my first point. This trend has really, really been on the rise. In the previous year, we really saw brands going out there, excelling and really getting some of these products right. And this trend is body care. In fact, I'm going to call it body care 2.0, simply because I really feel like this year, it's about to get even better. I'm talking your AHAs, your exfoliants, your retinols, all those ingredients that really equal up to exfoliants and help us with shedding the dead skin off, or rather removing any excess sort of like body conditions that we are dealing with, such as keratosis pilaris, hyperpigmentation, dark marks, especially us who have melanated skin. This is going to be exciting times for body care, guys. You're going to see a whole lot more exfoliants or rather chemical exfoliant ingredients in our body care. Brands are really going out there and targeting our bodies just as much as they talk. And for me, this really just calls for another level and the next level in beauty, guys. There are already brands that have started to really incorporate and prioritize body care. The likes of Pastry Skincare, Palmer's, Nivea, there are so, so many more brands that are really just jumping onto the wave of body care and we love, love to see it. Guys, my second point is one that has me excited. I think I'm going to be saying that for all these trends, but it is what it is, guys. I think one thing that um, we need to really be cognizant of is that the TikTok clean girl is not going anywhere. And I know that sometimes on the internet, the more we see clean girl look and what it's about, some may think that it's actually a makeup trend. But I particularly feel like it's mostly tied with skincare. And here's why. And a really huge change and big shift when coming to routines, skincare routines, but overall just building natural routines for our overall wellness. And more and more people have obviously been working from home. And working from home really means that you still want to make sure that you maintain a much more fresh glowy and healthier look. And that in itself means that you're looking for products that have a much more lower maintenance look. And this guys is a trend that is really, really taking up space in 2023. Skincare makeup hybrids guys. A lot of people guys are going to be looking for products that function like makeup, but have skincare benefits. Because essentially you want to have that no makeup look, yet still, you know, have a touch of blush, have a touch of glowiness and highlighter here and there. So what you're going to see is the lip gloss trend is going to be in, the brown lip combo that's already in, that already gives you that natural yet browny look on your lip. Yo, whoever came up with that little brown lip liner combo that y'all be doing on your lips, oh my god, they deserve everything in this life. It really be the simple things that we notice and I'm like, damn son, that look mad good. Wow! Wow! Yo, whoever came up. We're going to see a whole lot more people gravitating towards facial mists that have sort of like glowy and highlighter like finishes, but many more guys. A lot of people guys are definitely going to be reaching out to these products, but also brands at large are starting to realize and notice that, you know, that in as much as makeup has always been, you know, on the rise and has been one of the leading sort of like points in beauty, skincare is being prioritized just as much. Now, the trend that I'm about to mention, I think really just ties in to the previous trend that I have mentioned and what you're going to see more of this year are multitasking product guys. Now I think this has really been one of the sort of like pain points especially when it comes to people who are new into skincare right. Not a lot of us like to use um, or follow seven step routines or follow you know all these complicated steps that come with doing your skincare routine because we all just want something that will be sort of like simple, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to make it seem like it's a chore and it's very daunting and it's a daunting process or routine that you have to do every single day in order to sort of like reach a specific result, right? So what you're going to see is that more and more brands are starting to incorporate multitasking ingredients that will really help with targeting more conditions or concerns at the same time 
in one bottle right and i think this also comes with you know being conscious about um with with skincare you know most people are very conscious when it comes to buying skincare or rather beauty products at once guys you know because guys most of the time people really want to spend on something that they can also benefit on and i think this is a very important point right so for example the likes of hyperpigmentation right i think it's important that um we really reiterate as skincare content creators as people who are in the beauty industry that using one product is not going to help you target or fight your hyperpigmentation all at once right it requires multiple products in order for you to really just go about fixing these skin concerns right now what you'll find that brands are doing is that they will try to make sure that they formulate products and use ingredients that are able to work well together in order to help fight whatever skin concern condition you're dealing with and i think this is really something that's going to catch a lot of consumers eye because you know i mean rather than having multiple products all at once right you can really have that one serum that you always reach out for knowing that it's got two ingredients or three ingredients that will really help fight whatever condition or skin concern you're dealing with at a time this is something that i am super 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 excited for because i really think that sometimes we tend to focus on one product that has only one ingredient when we can focus on one product that will give us a two-in-one formula yet still be beneficial for our skin if you think that celebrities are going to stop creating and formulating their own skincare routines I've got news for you because I think it's actually just about to get better. What you're going to see more of in 2023 is that the professionals, the estheticians, the dermatologists, the doctors are going to start bottling their expertise, guys. And I think this is exciting times, guys. You know, as the times have gone and, you know, as people have consulted dermatologists and people have really taken the time to educate themselves about skincare, we've had our grievances, we've had our pros and cons when it comes to, you know, consulting a dermatologist or estheticians. When when it comes to our skincare concerns right and i know that some of the cries around my peers was that most of the time when you go around and you sort of go and consult a dermatologist dermatologist will give you sort of like a staple uh, or a particular brand of a product and they don't really change or rather give you um you know the room to explore other products that are out there besides a specific brand right and i think for me this is the exciting part that you're going to see more of estheticians dermatologists really just formulating their own products and i think that's just because you know i think maybe uh in the medical field as well and the researchers that have have really just come about more dermatologists have actually started to to really just uh be on social media if that's if that's a start i think and you know people they are they're actually starting to see that most people are sort of like educating themselves when it comes to ingredients you know because back then no one really used to care about uh what niacinamide is or what alpha arbutin is because not many of us actually knew what what uh that stuff did or rather what the ingredients were for what are they targeting you know and i think maybe that's why dermatologists would just give us like or like just toss us with like a cleanser to be like hey i'll uh, use this this will help your eczema and all that type of stuff you know but i guess over time people have really started to be more skin conscious um and really just pay attention to things that um they th that are troubling their skin if i should say so but also i think it's because you know going and consulting estheticians and dermatologists it's quite a hefty amount of money you know and you know just going there to get tossed with a young cleanser and going back home and chilling for like three months and it's not working for your skin. Mm, I think gone are those days, right? So I think it's, it's, it's going to be quite interesting. See what dermatologists are, are learning and taking out of all these celebrities, obviously, I mean, that are doing their own things. And I hope obviously with them, it'll be a whole lot more medically backed up, a whole lot of science that's involved rather than just cooking in the kitchen. Now, you know, this is a topic that really gets people speaking, you know, um, and it has to do with facials, you know. Um, facials are not... Uh, they're not cheap, you know, but I would say they're a good investment. I per se personally believe in um, getting facials or sort of like uh, medical or professional treatments uh, once in a while, once a month, uh, you know, to be specific. But I mean, you know, as time has gone by, you've seen that brands are also actually starting to realize that, okay, people seem like they want to spend a bit more on um, treatments and you know at home facials and that's why in 2023 we're going to see a whole lot more at home device facials or microcurrents taking a rise guys people 
are very much you know driven by convenience comfort and if that means i'm gonna buy the next led lights or i'm gonna buy the next sort of like facial sculptor to only sit at my home at the comfort of my home and do it myself and know and you know have guarantee that it's actually going to give me the results that i need whether that's firming your skin whether that's you know reducing the wrinkles you know people are definitely going to invest in such and i think that is something that's really really going to take a rise in 2023 people are investing in at-home facials people want things that are convenient and that will really just you know not take them out the house you know obviously i mean once in a while you want someone to just touch your face and you know you want to perform a chemical peel because there are certain products and and sort of like at-home facials that you can't necessarily do yourself because you do need uh you know the science that's backed up with it you need to make sure that you obviously you have an applying are applying the right um sort of like percentages on your skin so yeah guys i think at home devices are really really things that are going to um be in a point of interest they are already obviously going viral everyone on tiktok has a red light led uh therapy sort of like mask uh of some sort i know dr dennis grass is really big on these but you know um it is what it is i mean sometimes you'll find that you know not everyone can afford the, these 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 t facial tools but i mean for now there are the more affordable facial tools you've got your gua sha's you've got your um facial rollers you've got your facial sculptors which also come in sort of like um small tools um that really are accessible and you can sort of like get um at your nearest store so yeah guys um, i'm keen to see what obviously brands um are going to sort of like um create and sort of like um invent if i should say so i know that l'oreal have already started with um creating made it they've made a model um that somehow sort of like applies your lipstick for you so yeah guys i mean it's exciting times in the beauty industry and yeah we can't wait to see it my next trend is actually quite an interesting one and i'm gonna call this one 360 uh skincare and the reason i say that is because i've, I've seen a lot of brands that are sort of gravitating towards um supplements you know and uh they are leaning towards more powders leaning towards more uh sort of like tablets that you can ingest and you know brands i think are taking more of a sort of like 360 approach when it comes to taking care of our skin because i think it and stems from the fact that you know you can only use so much product um that will help your skin right now i mean one product that has really just you know really had a buzz and you know there's been a lot of debate around it there's been a lot of research um still obviously unproven facts but it's collagen right a lot of people have been taking collagen powder a lot of people have been taking glutathione speaking about how they start their morning routines with collagen and you know this thing helps my skin it helps my glow you know and all of those types and as much as uh research has obviously not proven whether collagen um does 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 do much to your skin but i think most of the time it's important to know that it's obviously not going to work as instantly as we may think it will right and as much as like anything else that we ingest it takes time you know and it takes time to really just you know uh build or sort of like break down in our bodies but also it takes just as much time for it to start showing um in the outer layers of our skin of our bodies now obviously as we get older our skin loses elasticity and it stops obviously being as firm as what it would be when we we're a whole lot more younger because we're aging guys and um you know aging is not a process that you can sort of like backdate but you can definitely of course help it um where you can right brands are sort of like moving towards you'll see a whole lot more brands really taking out supplements that are aimed at you know fixing that doing this and it's going to be quite an interesting time to see what it is that brands actually come out with but also i think what's going to be more interesting to see is whether people actually jump onto that craze or not because i mean it's it's one thing creating a product but it's also one thing you know um whether you following whether people will actually buy the product and whether people actually believe that do you want to ingest this thing because people have different health um issues and conditions and not a lot of people believe in sort of like drinking and intaking things now guys this is another one of them where we're going to see in 2023 really really you know have an uptick and i'm going to combine two trends that i really think are tied together and that for me is 
skin boosters and injectables, right? Skin boosters are injectable treatments that are designed to deliver deep hydration. Now, what we will see is that most people, let's say, for example, people who have dry skin, sometimes they will, uh, inject, they will inject hyaluronic acid, right? Which will really uh, claim or rather claims to help with deeply hydrating. This means obviously great skin hydration, you know, getting that dewy and glowing. Also, I think people, for example, who have... Um, dark under eye circles, right? They're going to be using more injectables and skin boosters to treat the eyes and will, which will help with obviously, you know, brightening their dark under eye circles. And this is something that I obviously normally say even on my social media is that guys, you cannot fully, fully, fully uh, cure dark under eye circle because sometimes it is actually genetics you know which is why obviously you would then have to go the extra mile by incorporating injectables or skin boosters into sort of like your routine or your everyday life so it would be treatments that you basically go for um every three or two four weeks uh so on and so forth right a lot of people are already obviously doing fillers right fillers um which are dual purpose injectables right they are they are designed to obviously treat the loss of volume uh or the sort of like elastic uh, elasticity that has been lost but also just really help with enhancing the skin quality through um, really just injecting the collagen and the stimulation that it'll get once it's in your skin right yeah guys so I think though for me I would say that these are really um, sort of like treatments that I would say you shouldn't do uh, when you are below 25 I think maybe even once you start hitting the 28 year uh, mark upwards I would obviously uh, start doing skin uh, boosters and injectables then but for now I think um, you know I'm fine I think for now let's lean towards you know figuring out uh, our skin product and I guess if your situation is a bit more dire then you might want to look into that route this brings me to my last point which then also ties into multitasking products guys but what you're going to see is that skinimalism is going to make its way back guys and i say this because i think more and more we're realizing that sometimes using too many products is exactly what causes the problems that we have on our skins and um the conditions that we are facing and are fighting every single day right um, so what you're going to see is that people are going to be stripping their skincare routine. I know that I have started doing that. I've really just, um, really just decreased and minimized the amount of sort of like products that I use, but also just the amount of product that I now have right now. Um, I'm trying to give away as much as possible. And because I obviously deal with a whole lot more PR packages, I'm also just trying to make room for more skincare should it come right. So skinimalism is really going to make its way back. People are starting to strip down their routines, starting to strip down their skincare cupboards and really just start keeping products that actually have proven and are working for their conditions or skin types, right? And uh, this again, I guess it comes to, you know, the, the, the makeup, skincare makeup hybrids, it comes to the multitasking products. You want products that can, you know, fight uh, two in one that have a two in one formula, but that also really just, you know, that just work for your skin other than just hogging and hogging products, guys. So, yeah, guys, let's have a chat down below in the comments, guys. Let me know what you guys think is going to be trending or that you have seen um, in this year of 2023, uh, what you're excited for as well. And let's keep the discussion going. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Do also drop, obviously, comments uh, on what you guys would like for me to discuss. I am going to a whole lot more skincare um, this year. I do also have quite exciting things that I have coming up on my channel. And let's look to growing this uh, skincare community. Let's get to 1,500 subscribers. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.